We put on people like Mop the Hoople, the third gig they'd ever played. Genesis, the first time I put Genesis on, I paid them £10, and then £15, and £25, £50. And then eventually we paid them £100, and uh, Peter Gabriel came out and shook my hand on stage because it was such a big moment for them. You know, they got into three figures, you know, it was fantastic. You know, I think I was the first person on earth to pay them £100. Um, but we had all sorts of other people. We had Black Sabbath, one of their very first gigs they ever did. Um, we had Keith Ralph's Renaissance, Edgar Broughton, Argent, um, lots and lots of bands in that first year. And that's really what established us, if you like. Also during that first year, we did a few shows in Dunstable at the Queensway Hall. It was a wonderful venue. It's like a spaceship. Um, we put on John Heisman's Coliseum there and did quite well with that. Then we put on Pink Floyd, and that was in November 1969. Now, Pink Floyd was absolutely packed, which was fantastic. I mean, we also did lots of shows in Watford. We did shows in Bedford. There was Friars Bedford. Uh, it started in Kempston, in the community hall there in Kempston, which I think is still there. And then we used the Corn Exchange after that in Bedford. Uh, Dunstable Queensway Hall we used a lot. Uh, Watford Town Hall, which is now called Watford Coliseum. And we used Wickham Town Hall um, as well. We did one show in Prince's Risborough with Genesis. <laughs> one show only. And, and the, the local people and the council banned us after that. <laughs> Hardly anybody turned up to it. It was really in the early days. Again, it was you know very early days, 1970, I think. And uh, yeah, yeah, just the one show in Risborough. They couldn't handle it. <laughs>